Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Ferrari Forex Date Challenge. So this version of the Ferrari Forex Date is like a race version. However, it is not homologated for like a racing class from the FIA. It is just a race car that can be used uh, on special events organized by Ferrari in which they take their Corsa Cliente owners and, well, they take these cars and do races against each other in this car. So this car has more power than the GT3, if I'm not mistaken. However, it has a little bit less downforce than the GT3 version. and. This one has a little bit more less compromises and can be modified a little bit more than the GT categories. And now we're jumping in the interior of the car and see how this car looks. As you can see, the interior is very stripped out and it also has a very big roll cage and some very serious bucket seats and even a dash cam in there and well you can see that the steering wheel has various functions in order for you to set the bit speed and now we're going to turn up turn on the vehicle and see how it sounds So as you can see the sound that this car produces is very good, good and very tasty. So now let's take it out for a drive. And for that we're going to do a race on Mexico circuit. And well, basically because this is an established circuit in the game, and I think this is the best place to test this car, as this car races in real circuit, and so that's the reason why I choose this track. And we're going to be using this track in, during the video, and well, there you could see that the car did lost grip as a result of the UTF and that's produced when you are behind another race car and well it is like the air is not condensed and it fluctuates and changes a lot so that's the reason why the car doesn't produce as much downforce as it normally produces. But that's one of the disadvantages of this car, kind of cars. And then we also lost a lot of grip in the front. So there's not much we can do about it here uh, because it is a part of the high ironic car. However, you can contrast it with having more mechanical grip, which can be obtained by the tires, suspension, and the bottom downforce that the car has. So now we are, as you can see, we are racing against these cars, and we are actually keeping up with them. One thing to mention is that they are on unbeatable difficulty, which makes them almost unbeatable. So it is a good sign that the car can actually keep up with them because we are in a stop car, which means that we are on a disadvantage against them and we are even keeping up with them. So now let's try it keep up with the volume parts and see if we can even take up 
place of the pipe. Another thing that you can see is that even though we have a lot of downforce, the car has a very good acceleration and a good speed actually, which is kind of rare in this kind of cars. And some GT cars do not even cross the 300 km an hour, and this car can go up to 320 km. As you could see, we couldn't catch them up, so now we're going to tune this car and see if we can make it better. So, as the car starts with a very nice pace, we're going to only operate the power and add the more well, mechanical grip that we can to the car in order for it to be a little bit better. And what we're also going to do is upgrade the or adjust the wing in order to produce the maximum downforce that the wing can produce. So now that we have tuned the car, we're going to test it out and see if it is even better. So as you can see, we now have almost 900 horsepower, or a little bit more, I don't remember. And as you can see, we are actually doing very good right from the start. We are even trying to catch them. We are going to be a little bit aggressive. Uh, we are trying to win this race. So that's one of the reasons why we are getting very close to the right. As you can see, the car now accelerates even faster than we did previously. As we are contrasting track reduced by the downforce with the amount of horsepower that we have in the car. Yeah, even in, at the finish of the first lap we ended up being hurt and we are in second. It's a very good sign for the car. So now let's try to get it even better. One thing about this car is that the brakes are also very good. Basically, but they are racing brakes. And this corner that we're passing now is a little bit tricky when you have this amount of horsepower because if you accelerate in the wrong, at the wrong time, the car is going to the back end and you're going to end up crashing into the wall. Okay, so there we lost a lot of grip for reaching the ground. So I now do not think that we're going to be able to catch the first place. Mainly because of that loss of grip that we had the previous lap. But we shall see. There we lost the a little bit. It is very dangerous with 900 horsepower. We couldn't make it to the first place, so we're going to finish this race in second place, which is a bad. As I previously said, we are unavailable difficulty also. So yeah. Now after we finish that race, I wanted to say that I am very happy to see this car in the game, as it is one of the few race cars that we have in the game. I love seeing this kind of cars being added to the game because it is not something that we're going to even see in real life or even try keep being able to drive them. So it's very nice to, for us to get these cars out of the city and drive them off the next road. Yeah. 
So yeah, I love it. And I do think it's the best addition to the carpass yet. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give people a like and a subscription as it will help us a lot. Keep making these kind of videos. And tomorrow I will see you uh, for checking out the update number 6 that is going to be available. And yeah, without anything more to add, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.